Hi, my name is Justin Broom, and thank you for tuning in to the second premiere of The Weekly Sweep, WLCN's online show dedicated to the latest news and events here in central Illinois. Brought to you by our sponsor, By the Bean Coffee Shop in downtown Lincoln. Kicking us off this season, we have some lovely ladies here from the Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. How are you guys doing today? All right, can you introduce yourselves for us? Hi, I'm Kim Lucas. I'm the Volunteer Services Director for Community Action. I'm Nitsi Gleason, Risk and Compliance Coordinator for Head Start at Community Action. All right, thank you so much for being here today. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what Community Action is and kind of what their mission is here in Central Illinois? Our mission here at Community Action is to serve those low-income folks to help them become self-sufficient. We have numerous programs out there for folks that are interested in uh, learning how to become self-sufficient. Uh, we do have a program called Jobs for Life. Uh, we have Financial Peace University. We have a weatherization department. We have volunteer services. We have Early Head Start. We have Head Start. Uh, we have Senior Nutrition. Uh, we are there to serve the community and their needs and to help those folks become more self-sufficient. All right, excellent. Um, speaking of Head Start, I hear there are some deadlines coming up with the Head Start program. Um, could you tell us about what those are and what Head Start does for the community? Well, our deadline, um, our biggest one was the budget. We just found out today everything went through just absolutely perfect. We're on our way to a wonderful new year. We'll make our first selection of uh, children here uh, next week, uh, which is looking real good. We're out there hitting the payments for recruitment, and we take them from birth to five, starting with the pregnant mom. All right, excellent. Um, can you tell us a little bit um, why you feel that this Head Start program is important and valuable to the community? Head Start is so important for the children. Uh, sometimes the children um, in, in the community are needing that little educational boost. And so we go out and recruit those children and their parents um, and put those in those children in our centers and we provide them with the nurturing and um, the learning abilities to become um, prepared for uh, elementary school kindergarten and elementary school um, head start is a really important program what do you feel makes it different from different child care programs that we have around the area well, we can also, we nurture the family also. We can, we help them place them in jobs. We help them find jobs in which they are capable of doing. We work with their children. We have done everything from getting them involved in the Financial Peace University that we have. Um, we just guide them in every step they need and for being the mom, for being a parent, for just being in the household. They are doctor's appointments, yeah. they have hearing screens, they have eye exams. We make sure they're in good, good health. Um, and we go above and beyond most programs here in the community. And being no charge to the family. All right, that is fantastic. Um, how can people get involved with community action? How can someone who maybe doesn't have something to do over the summer um, get involved with community action, help out their community? That is right up my alley. I am the Volunteers uh, Service Director for Community Action, and right now we are remodeling our whole agency. Uh, so we always are needing uh, volunteers for moving um, our offices out. Uh, we have a huge community garden right now that we are looking for volunteers to help. Uh, we pick, uh, just be there to make sure we've done everything correct we are really needing someone uh, several folks if they're interested uh, to help us deliver senior meals um, Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um, and um, gosh we we have so many things out so many opportunities for those who would like to come to community action and we could always use them we do filing we could do shredding we can keep you busy so if you need anything to do this summer please contact Kim Lucas all right that's perfect um do you have any other contact information that we can give our audience so that they can get involved with Head Start or anything community action? Yes. If you just call 217-732-2159, uh, you will get to our community action receptionist and whatever program you're interested in, whether it be Head Start, volunteer services, foster grandparent, weatherization, they will direct you to that program director. 
and we will make contact with you and, and help you in any direction you need to bring you in, talk with you, and get you busy with our community action agency. All right, just to wrap us up here, what is your favorite part about being a part of community action? What makes this worthwhile to you? The feeling that I get by helping others in the community and it, it, it's just an unremarkable feeling when you can help somebody and be helping in the community. It gives you that self, self gratitude and exactly. it, it just makes you feel like a whole new person. It does. It feels like you've accomplished something, you've made their day, but even if you've given them a small bag of groceries, you've made someone very happy. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today, and thank you for all the work that you do for our community. I appreciate it, and I know our community appreciates it. Thank you so much for coming in today. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to the season premiere of The Weekly Sweep. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook for all things The Weekly Sweep and WLCN 96.3. Or go to our website, wlcnonline.com. My name is Justin Broom, and I'll see you next time.